Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. A few times people have asked me how can you get more than 5,000 files or folders from a document library? Because there is always this 5,000 limit on these Microsoft Actions. And today I want to show you a workaround how you can overcome this 5,000 limit. I've started to create a new flow and let's use the flow button for mobile as our trigger. I'll rename this flow And now I'll add my first new step. At first, we'll need a few variables that will help us through the flow. I'll need a number. So let's rename this. I'll need an array where all my results will be saved. And I'll need a Boolean variable for my loop. And the initial value will be true because I would just always think that there will be more records. Let's start with the loop. I'll go here to control and then I'll use the do until loop. And the value I want to check is the more records. And the loop will continue to loop, of course. <laughs> Uh, as long as the value from more records is uh, not false. The loop will stop when the value will be false. And because we set it initially to true, it will run through all the time. Let's get our first action here. Let's go to standard and SharePoint. And I want to get all the files. Get files, properties only. Here I'll put in my site address, the library name. I want to include definitely the nested items. My filter query, every object in a document library has an ID and I want this ID to be greater than the ID number. Right now the ID number is zero so give me all the IDs that are greater than, uh, greater than zero. And of course I want to order this in ascending order. It's very important that it doesn't mix up the items and for threshold reasons, I will limit this to 4,000 items. That's it for our get files action. Now I'll need a condition. I'll go to control again and to condition. With each loop, I have to check if the get files action found some files or folders or whatever object. So I will use an expression, empty. And then the value of this output, I click OK. And oops, if that is true. So basically, when the previous action will be empty because it did not find any folders or files anymore, this condition will be true. And in that case, when it's true, the do until loop should break. So I will add an action here, set variable, that's our more records. And in that case, I will set it to false because I want the loop to break, to 
get out to stop whatever and in the other branch if it still finds more objects i will need to do some other actions first i will use a select action the select action always needs an array in that case i will use the get files array here in the value and i'll just map this because I don't want all the information. I just want specific fields in my final array. And I can use the select action to just select the parts that I need. I want the item. The ID. And here the name. I know this looks a bit crazy here, but if we look at the data, it will make more sense. Right now, just follow my lead. Now I'll use a compose action. This is also a bit tricky because I have to combine the current value of the array with the value of the select action from before and I have to unionize it. So on one hand I don't get double entries and also it's easier that way than use the append to array action because then you would need to create another loop and that's also way faster how I do it. I'll use the union action and now i need the my array and i'll need the output of the select okay now i will set the array with the output of the compose action. So when the loop goes through and it will always make a new request to the SharePoint library, it will always get new items. And with the select and uh, the union in the compose action, it will always combine these to a new bigger array and set the new value for the my array variable. And what I also have to set is the ID number. You know, we started with zero, but now we always have to increase it for the next round, for the next loop to go through the get files. Because if we don't do that, it will always be zero and it will just always get the same files. And that's why we'll need the ID number. So I'll use a set variable action here. And I want to set the ID number. I will use again an expression. I will need the last element of this array. And from this last element, I'll need the ID number. Because we've used before the order by ID number ascending, the last element should always be the largest, the highest number. Oh, now it's gone. You do it again. Last. Let's enter this here. And this new highest number will be in the next round our starting point for the next query at the end after the loop i'll just close the loop here i'll add another compose action This is just for 
a checkup. I will use the length, expression, and the my array. This will count all the items in that array. I will see on one glance how many uh, items there are. And then I'll add another step. Create HTML table from the my array. And columns should be automatic. You can also create a ZSV file or whatever, and then use that maybe in another context. Let's test it out. I'll go to save. Test manually, save and test. Continue. Run flow. I did make a small mistake here. Instead of type boolean, this should be, a, of course, array, and then test it again. Two minutes later, let's see here. We have over 37,000 items here, and that's basically how you can access over 5,000 items. You just combine them, put them in an array, and then you can work with it. I hope I could help you and I wish you a nice day.